Okay, y'all. So, in this video, we're going to be cleaning up the gar. We already been out here doing some things. I was like, let me just go ahead and um, film so y'all can be motivated. Because a lot of people said that y'all hadn't started y'all fall gar. Um, you was going to be doing it this weekend or you did it last weekend. And so, y'all, it can be discouraging to get out there, especially when it's hot. But it's hot. It's like in its low 80s, I think, today. Maybe mid 80s. So, getting everything together because it was driving me crazy, okay? It was driving me crazy. So, that's what we're about to do. So, I hope y'all motivated and seeing us cleaning up um, this area. And then I'll give y'all an overview of what it looks like once everything is all nice and tidied up and all that good stuff. So, yeah, y'all. So, let's go ahead and get into the video. It's gonna get you just drop it down because it's gonna get um swept up. It's gonna get swept that way. So you can just drop it down. I just want it out the bucket. I have one of them to come and everything that we pull up, they can sweep it off the car. Okay, y'all, so right here, we just going through these buckets, getting all these weeds and stuff out. Um, There was a lot of weeds growing in these buckets. So, I also got my son. He has this stick. Y'all probably see him going in between the buckets and stuff because we got a lot of spiders. Um, Now, these spiders that I'm seeing that's, that's like, you know, um, making webs in between the buckets and in the buckets, they gray and they have a small body frame, okay? Very small, smaller than your normal spider. And they gray with red eyes. And y'all, I ain't got time for that. I do not have time for that. You hear me? So, he was going through getting the spider webs off and stuff like that. Um, so, let me just hit on a couple things that I am getting asked from my previous garden video. The harvest and stuff since I'm getting everything with the garden back on track um, for fall. A lot of y'all was asking me, what type of tarps do I have down and why? Okay, so the tarps are heavy-duty tarps. That's what they label as at Home Depot and Lowe's. I've had them since 2020. Um, they last, a, you know, a long time. They tarps, okay? So, um, um, I have them down. Because I don't want to have to deal with weeds growing up in between my buckets. Now, sometimes weeds do grow up. Um, you'll see us pulling some up through the tarp. But that's because I have holes in the tarp. You can just take your knife or something, put holes in the tarp. That way, when you water in your garden, water is not sitting on that tarp. They have a drainage, you know, a way to drain off. Um, my backyard sits at a slope. And when you get halfway through it, y'all probably can see it a little bit right there. Um, so sometimes the water do drain off, but sometimes there was like little holes, um, little puddles or whatever. And I don't like that because it, it, it sitting water causes for mosquitoes and stuff. So yeah, so that is why I have the tarps down and where you can get, you can get them for tractor supply, a Home Depot and, um, Lowe's. Okay. Just regular heavy duty. I, I feel like all of them say heavy duty tarps unless you get them from Dollar Tree or something. I think Dollar Tree had some tarps one time. I do not deal with no tarps from Dollar Tree. Um, because just some of their stuff just don't last. Like I say, these tarps is 2022 and I had these down since 2020. So I hope that answers y'all question. Um, make sure ain't no spiders. You see all the way up. And then this needs to be pulled out. The weeds need to be pulled out and pull out the weeds and those. You can pull out all that, pull out all that, just pull out the weeds and that one. Okay. 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 Okay, y'all, so right here um, is one of my bean containers. I think this is the one that had the red swan beans in it. So the sun, I mean, they took a bean by the sun, okay? So I'm um, cleaning that one out. I have a long growth season, so I think I'm going to drop some more beans. Um, 
probably tomorrow in this container um but yeah so i wanted to clean that out and my Ch chinese long beans i may try that again that'll be in the other containers on down um but right here some of my 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 oh some of my good beans had went over today i was like oh no 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 don't pull that out don't pull it out because those are some of the newer beans that i just <laughs> that i just planted so yeah um i was glad that we caught that before some of those got pulled out thinking that it was a weed because it was over in the other container um but right here you see me just trellising it up where it's supposed to be because they got flowers on it and they're gonna have some beans on it in a little bit so i did not want to lose those at all okay so yeah continuing to take out the weeds right there y'all it was a lot of weeds okay and that's all it was so 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 dry because of the sun and all that and like i say so it was my fault i kind of neglected it because it was just too hot and then i had a lot that was going on okay so right here um is some more beans that i had trellised up now those beans that's right here in front of me came back very very good they was like on their last leg but i see beans on it there's beans on it, so i'm taking all the dead ones off um the dead leaves and stuff and then i leave those because they are bouncing back now that we back in the 80s and not the hundreds <laughs> Okay, y'all, so now I am in the front of these same bean plants. And y'all saw me hold some of those beans up. Some of them dried on the um the plant. So y'all know what those are. Those are seed, bean seeds, okay? So I'm going to put the dry ones back in the soil so they can um produce more plants and we can get more beans and stuff. So, yeah, some of them already had dried out, which is perfect for me because I ain't got to dry them out. So, that's what I was doing right here, picking those off, still taking off more dead ones because y'all can see it's starting to look all green and back like it's supposed to and all that good stuff. So, I decided to leave those and then take um more weeds out of these other containers over here. Sorry. Uh, I didn't know this. I just came into the front line out and cut my phone all the way off and gave it back to me and left out. She turned it all the way off. She took it out your hand? It was on the couch. She took it out of my own business. And she grabbed the phone. Dodged me so I didn't get it. Tell Ty to come here. Turn my phone all the way off and gave it to me. Why did she do that? I don't think she knows. Well, that's just something more for why she did that. How dare she do me like that? I think she's going to walk. 
Somebody was minding their own business and the un came in there and just took their phone and turned it off and walked out and didn't say nothing. Woo, y'all. <laughs> the cheering, the cheering. So right here, y'all, I am just sweeping off this tarp. Right there in that bed right there, y'all see them little old bitty plants? That's the little uh, watermelon plants that I had took off the watermelon vine um, the other day. And they had little minnows on. You know, y'all know I'm good for just sticking some in the dirt. So that's what we did right there. That bed had the hibernera, ghost peppers, and reapers and stuff like that in it. Um, so yeah, let me tell y'all too. I like to get like this little cheap broom um and make it my outdoor broom just to sweep off the tarps and stuff because it's a lot easier to do it that way. And I like to keep everything neat as possible okay so that is why i am using that because i know somebody probably would ask um but yeah just coming on around sweeping pulling up any weeds that's like really really hanging over the top for right now i should have grabbed the weed um the the what is it the leaf blower and did it but a hey, it is what it is i didn't feel like going through all that because that would at least got the straw and stuff that's under there but y'all sweeping is more exercise right <laughs> so um that's the route that i end up going y'all but i am so excited to be getting this together for a fall garden like i am super 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 excited um for this like you just do not understand how good it makes me feel to be actually you know getting it together i can't wait to drop these seeds and all that good stuff so yeah now, y'all, y'all want to hear something crazy. Why mosquitoes out? It was like 1.10 in the afternoon because I looked to see what time it was when I realized that I was getting bit up by mosquitoes. Now, it ain't rained or none of that. I know the, the sun come out, go back in or whatever. We like 85 degrees. It's in the middle of the day, and it haven't even rained. We ain't had no water. I know we walking through the grass and stuff, but still. Normally during that time, ain't no mosquitoes out biting nobody. I ain't never experienced that that early up in the day, unless it's some rain or something like that. Y'all, it was crazy. I was like, what in the world? Are you serious? Hmm, anything possible. So, yeah, y'all, my son was weed eating this whole little area. We don't put nothing in there, but it do grow up with a lot of weeds and stuff. So, he was taking care of that for me. I am so happy. <laughs>
so right here um is something that i should have did a long time ago i ain't got around to it but i am harvesting i'm taking these right here to harvest my seeds so i got some red mustard greens and i got some collard greens that went to seed so i was trying to figure out a way that i can keep them from you know messing up so i know which ones is which so that's what i was doing right here because i'm gonna redo them now let me just say my collard greens started trying to come back but i want to start everything fresh you know fresh seeds and everything like that so yeah so that's what i did right here i took them inside the garage that way with a label so when i get ready to harvest my seeds i would know what is what so you know let some of your stuff go to seed so you can always have your own seeds and stuff like that for the garden um so now i'm just taking up the rest out of the grow bags and yeah that's what i was doing right there y'all all right y'all so i have cleaned up my battery is dying so i need to put it up i could finish um recording on my phone but it's lunchtime and i'm hungry so everything is cleaned up we left this one because we do got some fruit on it i haven't watered nothing because i didn't want the dirt to be all sticky and stuff like that but um my empty buckets and stuff like that um we left that squash plant everything has been swept and done away with so i can start the fall stuff and stay on top of things um this time let's see over here is i was able to keep those beans because now that we're like you know ain't in the hundreds and some and it may come back and i will put a shade cloth over those but i got beans that's growing and these right here that i started they are doing really really good so yeah all these are sweet potatoes they are nowhere near ready to be harvested but i am going to put more sweet peas and stuff because they are they are uh, frost tolerant but i still got a long way to go before we you know hit that stage but look at this ain't that so pretty so yeah i done cleaned out a lot i still got to do the top deck uh well both of the decks and i have to do uh my greenhouse that's gonna be another video i'm gonna get the kids to come out here and get this these um this paper and stuff up i just have to do in the, the the deck in general um i wanted to show y'all this is my muscadine bush and y'all remember it was just a little bitty stick when i got it and that's what it's looking like look at this this is that blackberry bush that i i um had a cutting for that i took a cutting from my other one and i just throwed it in the soil y'all remember that i didn't do no hormones or nothing this thing we end up putting it right here because it is just going crazy and i moved the ground cherries y'all saw i moved that over here um she going crazy so <laughs> um so i have more let me see no that's my grape that's my grape this is my muscadine okay so i still got more to clean up um get the kids out here to get this paper like when you um open labels and stuff and the paper flew so they're gonna take care of all that but yeah everything is looking good my okra is still doing good and everything so i'm excited y'all i finally got it done like i say it's not completed but y'all will see when i finish now i gotta go get some lunch y'all now i gotta go get some lunch okay salad is calling my name so i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope it was motivational um don't forget to like comment and subscribe y'all hit that notification bell so you be notified each and every time that i upload a video and i'll see y'all in the next one if it's god's will okay bye